Understanding the financial intricacies of a business can be complex, but today, we are going to simplify one aspect of it. Dive into the fascinating world of direct material variances. These variances are critical tools that help organizations understand the discrepancies between expected and actual costs related to materials used in production. Think of direct material variance as a compass guiding businesses through the labyrinth of financial management. It represents the disparity between the standard cost of materials based on budgeted or expected values and the actual costs incurred during production activities. It's like the heartbeat of standard costing systems, aiding management in maintaining cost control. This variance isn't a single entity, but a complex structure consisting of two sub-variances. First, there's the purchase price variance. This one zeroes in on the cost of direct materials purchased. Imagine an organization, ABC International, producing 1,000 green widgets. The actual cost to purchase components was $3.50 per unit compared to a budgeted $4 per unit. This results in a favorable purchase price variance of $500. The formula used here is purchase price variance equals actual cost per unit minus standard cost per unit times standard units expected to be used. The responsibility of managing this variance lies squarely on the shoulders of the purchasing department. The second component is the direct material quantity variance. This one focuses on the quantity of units used during production. Let's stick with ABC International. They ended up using 1,300 units of raw material to produce 1,000 finished units due to low-quality raw materials. This results in an unfavorable material yield variance of $1,200. The formula here is material quantity variance equals actual units used minus standard units times standard cost per unit. The production department holds the reins of managing this variance. And where does this direct material variance go? It's typically charged to the cost of goods sold in the period incurred. Understanding direct material variance is like unlocking a secret door to effective financial management in production. But the learning journey doesn't end here. In the next episode, we'll delve into another intriguing topic that promises to make your financial management skills even sharper. Until then, keep your curiosity alive and continue to explore the world of business finance. Stay tuned.